It's going to be go time. Carrigan, Nico, Rain all on the front lines. And Rain, he's exceptional. He's doing everything he needs. And Nico right alongside him. It's going to be 15 for FaZe. Renegades are trapped. They haven't got a single kill yet. And they're running out of time to even get a chance to plant this bomb. Ethan gets picked off, but Sombrosa's coming in from the back now. Headshot to JKS, leaving Yam alone. And he can't do it either. We are indeed going to overtime. And now it's just a one versus two Guardian here to try and save it. He's going to get the kill on Liege. And he's flanking wide. It's Naf going down. Another round for FaZe. But there's another kill. They actually might win this. How has this happened? How have they made this work? X7 on the bomb. Taps and no gun out. He's gonna go for the knife, but they've done it! And pull out a literal miracle! Should have never happened. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're talking about the top five comebacks in CSGO history. We all love a good underdog story. What could be more satisfying than a David beating a Goliath? In this video, we've put together the top five most unbelievable comebacks in modern CS history. Some of them are recent, and some have been long forgotten. That doesn't make them any less spectacular. Enjoy! The first comeback on this list is Counterlogic Gaming in the E-League Major 2017 Main Qualifier versus Renegades on Dust2. They started on the T side, but were able to only get to five rounds. Things got worse when JKS managed to pull off a 1v3 to win the second pistol for Renegades. And CLG's victory seemed almost impossible, as the Australians stretched their lead out to 15 to five. On map point, JKS found himself in a 1v2 versus Kusta at Sub Rosa, with the bomb already planted at the B site. He managed to get it down to a 1v1, putting the opper in a hugely disadvantageous position. But he slightly miscalculated the defuse timer, opened up for a frag a second earlier than he should have, and lost the fight to Kusta, letting him defuse the bomb just in time. Winning this round marked the start of the comeback for CLG, and eventually they'd go on to finish it out in the first overtime by a 19 to 16 scoreline. Comes in, Cutler doesn't stop. He has support in Hayes to cover his back, and that is a B bomb site that will well and truly be under lock and key. On that long position, he's got Sabrosa in tow, and then charging towards short. JKS gets the first frag towards long. Oh no, Cutler! He comes in! He gets both on the short position. What a catastrophe there for Renegades. Great one, Sabrosa. Oh man, it's all about timing here, and that smoke is key for the Renegade side. Who's going to peek first? Azza! Rekke can't find the frag. Close! Oh man. Uh, towards a short position, Renegades are trapped. They haven't got a single kill yet, and they're running out of time to even get a chance to plant this bomb. Ethan gets picked off, but Sombrosa's coming in from the back now. Headshot onto JKS, leaving Yam alone, and he can't do it either. We are indeed going to overtime. But look how deep that smoke is. There's not much Sombrosa can do with that. Getting a smoke of his own forward. Will he deploy that nade though? That might do the job for you. So he's got three HP. There he goes. Another kill for Kusta. His free take is on. Oh my God, they've done it, Dan. <laughs> Through the smoke. You still have closed the distance, but the Garay will give his position away. Kusta can't do anything about it. And now he still has a superior angle. One kill for him, traded. And that's a two versus two retake. Nate, Ethan's in a very awkward position, but lovely headshot. And leaving Yan with 17 HP versus two. How does he do this? He's got a smoke, he's got a kit, but he can't get the kill. CLG still does two away from Renegades. How has this happened, Dan? I don't have any answers for you. When this next comeback happened, FaZe, who were playing with Exist as a stand-in, had a 2-0 map lead in the IEM Sydney 2018 Grand Final Best of Five series, but they were far from finishing it off due to struggling on the T side on train. They were even down 10 rounds to zero at one point. Things turn around for the international squad of superstars after a timeout for FaZe. Guardian managed to pull off a 1v3 in a post-plant situation on the A site. Later on, Kerrigan won a 1v2 in a similar situation on the B site, which eventually led to a manageable 4-11 score for the first half. In the second half, every member of FaZe Clan chipped in to help the team. He stopped him cold, but device and magic respond until just now. Guardian and Exist denied all of Astralis' attempts at executing onto the B site. Garrigan there in the back lines as well, and this has fallen apart of the seams for Astralis. He is the man. While Rain, Kerrigan, and Nico traded effectively on A. It's Rain with a denial. He is locking this one out. 
bombs in the wrong position. And Glaive goes. O time. Carrigan, Nico, Rain all on the front lines. And Rain, he's exceptional. He's doing everything he needs. And Nico right alongside him. It's going to be 15 for FaZe. The op being involved now, and now utility is the problem. It's a 3v3, and it might not be for long. It's Dabby Glaive and Zimnix. It's FaZe. Exist, who was playing as a stand in for Olaf Meister in Sydney was the one who finished off the last two members of Astralis in the final round to win train 16-14 and consequently the whole tournament. The Intel Extreme Master Sydney Champion, FaZe! This next one isn't exactly the comeback that we're highlighting, but more of the choke. Possibly the greatest series choke in CSGO history happened to Team Liquid during a best of three in a major semi-final. The simple led Team Liquid were up against Luminosity Gaming. Luminosity chose Mirage while Team Liquid picked Cash. After an even first half on Mirage, which ended with an 8-7 score in Luminosity's favor, Liquid cruised past the Brazilians to get to map point at 15-9. At that point, Hiko and company decided to execute slowly on to B. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's going to hit the ground there. It's cold. Oh! What? And jumping double from cold! What is there going on right now? How does he do this? They didn't let Team Liquid win a single round on Mirage after and closed out the map in overtime 19 to 15. They're looking to get to short. Taco is in a good position as well. And here come the fracks from the CT side. Three men down for Liquid, four men down for Liquid. And they have to they have to just force the issue. This is not going to be something that they're going to be very happy to do. And you can see why there's no distraction for these CTs on Adren. Oh, nice little tap there, but it is small consolation in the face. Oh, this is looking quite good for Luminosity, but there's a trade coming in from Elise. Oh, and Simple's down as well. This is looking terrible right now for Liquid. Luminosity, they will bring this all the way back to your overtime. And here comes the second execute. Three men up the T-slope. Fallen's going to get the first frag. Looking from the box, FNX with a two-man. So there are only, there's only one play left. He's coming in as well. Time is off the s needs headshots. He's not going to find them. Awful position with this. Op. Oh, no! Misses a no-scope, but finally gets it. Take him down. Two versus two. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anyway, there's the spot. Still plenty of time for Hika to play with. Clutch Marcher of this team, and there's going to be FNX. Three rounds there in the first half of the overtime. Pretty key here because right now they're splitting all of these two players who have pushed close to the slope. Liquid are going to have a lot of trouble here. There's three frags in a row there for Luminosity to try to engineer this retake, but Simple is dead. This is for everything. This is for the map right now. Nico making his way around the smoke. This found a will spot Taco, but that's it. Luminosity with a comeback from 15-10. An amazing play from Cole with the AWP. Next up was Cash, and it started perfectly for Team Liquid. At 4-0 on the CT side, Hiko pulled off a 1v4 in a post-plant situation. Definitely not going down without a fight. Oh wow, there's the first fast frag. Hiko gets a double. There's still two players left. They got no health on them. 13 and 3. Hiko. Looping around the site now, there's still time. It's, oh my goodness, how does he do this? How does he go do it again? By the middle of the second half, everything was going swimmingly for the NA team, as they reached map point at 15 to six. It was hard to believe, but leveling the series at one to one was never meant to happen. Now the three, Taco with the wall bang, and that's gonna be the round there for Luminosity. It seemed like the Team Liquid players simply forgot how to hit their shots. Over the next 14 rounds, they took only one and consequently fell to Luminosity. Liquid really did snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Performance from Liquid and you got Simple there by the event. Looking for the jump shots potentially. This is audacious stuff there from Simple and he will pay for it. Now it's going to be Luminosity storming the bomb site. It is a clean sweep on the retake. And they're starting to rotate preemptively. Big play from Fur. And now Taco's in there with that auto sniper. Two frags. He's going to get the last one as well. A tragedy indeed. Oh, so close. And there we go. Great start. Preemptive firing from Taco. Take Hiko down. No frags for the T side. And Taco will finish them off. Ability in towards the bomb site. And so they have to take the fight. Cole will win the first one. Oh, it's all Storm. There's no nades left here for Luminosity. Hiko. Oh, he's going to get taken down by FNX. There's so much Cole down the 31. Oh, the flash from a teammate. So good, but Simple gets the trade. Taco with a headshot on a Simple. Five seconds left to plant the bomb. Adren will get a frag, but there's no time to plant the bomb. He's in CT spawn, Dan. And we are going to go to overtime. Looking for the fast frag onto CT. There's the first snap. Taco gets the trade. 
seconds. Nitro there on the bottom side now is cold, looking for the angle. Nitro's got to be so on point in this situation. Oh, he's not going to get it though. It's going to be cold with the M4. Just slightly off there on the angle. And here they go, simple. We'll be in, uh, behind Nitro, but both will find the same fate. Tacos, AK-47, straight to the face. Nico needs a big, big play to save his team in this round. And he's got a guy going towards headshot. It's fur. The spray comes in. The flames are making it difficult. But what can Nico do? A one versus four retake with an AWP. And there it is. Cold is going to take his head off. And Luminosity will find themselves in the grand finals against Na'Vi. Another epic choke for Team Liquid happened in the third place decider at Star Series and I League Season 4 versus FaZe Clan. Nitro and company, having easily won nuke 16-3, were leading 12-0 on the CT side on Inferno. But even that wasn't enough to close out the game. First, FaZe, who had been buoyed by Reign's ace, won the last three rounds of the first half. Found really screwing with him and huge kill on Carrigan. Bomb dropped at 35 seconds. Rain put it down before they're right on top of him, but he's fighting two full health players. See if Rain can pick up round oh, number two. There's a headshot mid-air. A little bit of time here before that bomb goes up. Rain hiding in the corner. This might be perfect. He's got the quad and there's the ace. Then they managed to turn things around, jumping out to a 15 to 13 lead, but were forced into overtime. Next one trying to see if he can do it with a third, and it's just Naf left in the smoke somehow. They all showed up at that crossfire of the phase that, that we know. Guardian pushing in, quick scope onto Twist. The pistol's out, finds Nitro, finds Nap as well. Oh, and in the air. She's gonna start to come in, and it's gonna be quick up banana. There's Nico getting a great double headshot. But that rotation is just so quick, and Nico's still alive. Flashbang goes over, the spree is in, and he's gonna win the round for his team. They're gonna wrap on Guardian. He's aware, though, he's holding it, and Nico over the top. He's distracting everyone, and they're all gonna fall. Guardian now getting aggressive with the CZ. It's alone on the bomb side. They're pushing in from every single angle. He has to try and go for another ace here, and it's not gonna be possible, I think. He's gonna go for the spray. Takes one more out of bullets, hiding inside the smoke, and he almost gets it. Will be taken down. The defuse is in. I think he's just barely got it. That is so unbelievably close, but the defuse will happen. Flashbang go deep into the bomb site. Guardian out of the open, I don't know how they didn't spot him. Nitro goes down, Steel is gonna get dropped. Nico with a double. Nitro there, and Twist up in the apartments waiting. It's gonna be Rain going down, Olaf next in line, and now it's just a one versus two Guardian here to try and save it. He's gonna get the kill on Liege, and he's flanking wide, and Snap going down. Another round for FaZe. Take it in here, this is gonna be so tough for them. Running through the flames, Kerrigan's waiting with the SMG, and that's so easy. Now Nico peeks one more for him, spraying him down. He gets two, he gets all three. The Deagle returns, but it's beautiful. To secure that third place, he's going for the full defuse. Two seconds, one second, oh. and it won't happen. Rain will take him down instead. It took them four OTs to outlast Team Liquid 28 to 26, and even the score in the match. Their joy was short-lived as they lost the third map, Mirage 16-3. Unlike MLG Columbus, this time Team Liquid's choke didn't cost them everything. The winner of the Ents vs. Big match in the IAM Katowice 2019 New Legends stage would draw the long straw and have another chance to stay in the Katowice Major, at least for one more round. The loser would be eliminated from the tournament with an 0-3 record. Ents were already down one map and were losing 0-7 on the T-side of Train. Somehow they managed to even things up, making it 7-8 in Big's favor. Time has been ticking away though. And is there feasibly enough? There's no kits in play for Big. I think they're oh. gonna have to pull the plug. Now on top of the train and Entz looking to close this out with the seventh round. Alu's gonna find the flank and there it is, Entz. This is now doable. It's not planted for Tapson. He's got to hurry up on this flank, on this wraparound. Gompi, he's going to be all alone. There's no Molotov. He's going to ensure that they cannot get away no matter what happens. But there's another kill. They actually might win this. How has this happened? How have they made this work? X7 on the bomb. Tapson, no gun out. He's going to go for the knife, but they've done it. And pull out a literal miracle. Should have never happened. On the CT side, they were still behind 10 to 14. The beginning of the end for Entz in the major. Alu's gonna get the free kill on God B, but Santarez once again is gonna find himself in the thick of it with two of his own. Alu's gonna take that AK and make it work, and suddenly Ents actually have the player advantage. Make that two! It's him out. It's all on Sergei. He's already picked off one clutch. It'll be one better. There's the first exactly, and Sergei's gonna get it done again. 
That flashbang is solid. Alexi B is going to have his eyes cleared up. With two, they're not going to count. It's the third kill for Alexi B. But in the most important moment, Alu's squad managed to pull themselves together and get a 16 to 14 victory. They go on better. The pop flash not quite working. Alu rather caught a no scope close range, and Ents will take us to a third map. So what's so special about this comeback, and why was it worthy of making our list? Well, the impact of this particular comeback was huge, as Ents managed to reach the IAM Katowice Major 2019 Grand Finals. They gave Astralis everything they could handle in the final, but eventually lost and took home the second place prize money. So there you have it, there are our favorite comebacks in recent CSGO memory. When we play, we aim for victory. In competition, that's the only thing that really matters. CSGO offers teams the chance to create their own comeback stories that could one day be written into the very fabric of this great game. Just remember, it ain't over till it's over. Well, except for this video, now it's over. And if you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so that you never miss an upload.